going on? Yeah, so I've been running lately and I've been having a lot of pain in my knee. Okay, that's runner's knee or patellofemoral pain syndrome. It's pain under or around the kneecap. Okay, um, I'm kind of curious as to why this happened. Yeah, often in runners it's if you increase your train too much, too many miles, too much speed work. It's also aggravated often on people going downstairs, doing deep squats. Okay. Sometimes people even when it's bad at pain when they sit too long. Got it. Yeah, I uh, have increased my training quite a bit, so I guess that would be one of the reasons. Yeah, that sounds like it. Uh, yeah, so what can I do about this? So this does really well with strengthening the knee and hip muscles. So if you start, we give you some exercises to strengthen your quadriceps and your glutes, that's the main treatment. Okay. Now we've got some other things that'll help in the short term. Sometimes we'll tape your knee or wear a brace. And sometimes we might even put an over the counter orthotic in your shoe and that helps sometimes. Okay. Occasionally, we can even make some changes to your running form. There's quick changes you can make. Sometimes if appropriate, we can increase your step rate and shorten your stride and that decreases the stress on the knee. All right, um, so will I still be able to run? Even so like if you can run and your pain is a two or three, it doesn't get worse, no worse after, that's okay. Take out any of the downhill running, keep the runs shorter right now, we'll talk about that. And let's do some cross training, like on the elliptical or swimming. Okay. You can ride the bike if you raise the seat up. So let's start with some good hip strengthening exercises. We'll do some okay. side leg lifts with good form up to up that high and down. <laughs> I like my runners to be able to do 25 of these. <laughs> I'll try my best. All right, next, we'll do some uh, more hip strengthening. Again, let's try and do 20 to 25 reps. Okay. Lift up slowly, all the way up, all the way down. Should I pause at the top? You can hold it a couple of seconds. Next, we'll do some short squats to work your quads. You have your knees against the chair, and that stops your knees going forward and puts less stress on your knees and knee joints. Okay. So, hands forward, sitting back. Let's do 20 of those. That looks good. Thank you. Good. Next, some hands across your chest, some single leg squats. Let's do 20 of those. And you want to work on keeping that knee out so it doesn't fall in. You might want to do this in front of a mirror so you have feedback. That looks good. All right, so the, so the next step is I want you to reach down for a cone or water bottle, reach across your body. Again, don't let that knee fall in. Reach up, reach back up, all the way back up, and all the way down. Good. 20 of those without losing your balance. Okay. Once your pain starts getting better and we want to get you stronger, we can start moving further into the range. We'll do some split squats, hands across your chest, and drop that back knee down. Don't let that knee go too far forward. Good. Let's try 15 of those. Looks good. 